welcome to Mixed Mediology. Today's video is Vlogoween Day 12, and it is the only Shop With Me video that you're going to get to see. <laughs> so let me just give you a little brief overview. I'm trying really hard not to make this video a rant and to just take you shopping with me, but I have to kind of set up the scenario. So our Navy Exchange here in Sicily is supposed to cater to us. Americans living on base and it's very limited that's that's all I'm gonna say about it it's very limited they th we can get several things out in town like anything Italian obviously we can get out in town yet they still put that into our necks and they take up space with that kind of stuff and they don't fill it with the things that we actually need and want and request so that's all I'm gonna say about that this video is actually about three weeks in the making because the next started pulling boxes out, Halloween boxes, but it was late in the first week of October. It was about the 6th or 7th when they started putting the boxes out and like showing us that they were actually going to put Halloween stuff out. Halloween is very hard for me here. The Italians don't celebrate Halloween, but really the, the NEX doesn't help us at all either so it's very very hard for me it doesn't feel like Halloween doesn't look like Halloween and so it's actually quite depressing for me but the next started pulling out boxes and and they had everything roped off we weren't allowed to go see what was over there we couldn't buy anything took them about a week or so to put everything out and when you see the video, I have video footage at the end of this. When you see the video, you're going to be shocked at why it took them a week to put everything out. And the, the area right beside the Halloween stuff, they put Italian stuff. So olive oil, honey, pistachios, things we can get out in town. Wine, things that we can get at every store out in town. So it's a really touchy subject. And um, it's really, really hard for me to do this video. But it's what I've got, and that's what I'm going to share with you today. So, like I said, this video is about three weeks in the making because I shot just a tiny bit of footage. It's all from my phone as well, by the way, obviously. So the first video is the day they had the boxes out, and then there's a, a second little clip at the end after they had de set all of the decorations out everything that we're getting they had set it out and and that was it so I shot footage of, of both of those days and that's my shop with me <laughs> I warned you this was gonna be a depressing video <laughs> I'm sorry but it's all I've got but I did pick up two things and I'm gonna go ahead and show them to you now because actually I, I flip the camera and talk a little bit at the end so um, I will let that be the end of the video but I wanted to show you I did purchase two things but I purchased so the first video was the day they brought the boxes out the second video was about a week later when they had everything set up and then the third video no this is the third video <laughs> the first video was when they brought the boxes out the second video was like a week and a half later that's what I was trying to say and now it's been like another t week or two later because today's October 25th anyway whatever it doesn't fucking matter whatever anyway so let me just show you what I got I bought two things they have the Halloween stuff on 50% off now and this was the only thing in the entire store that I even remotely considered and the only reason I bought this was to rip it apart. So this is actually going to be something that I use for the Kitchen Witch bottles. It's a necklace and bracelet set for like a witch doctor. And let me see. It's a really long necklace. I already took it off of here. So it's a long necklace with a bunch of skulls. And then some cool bones. And then a bracelet to match. So I bought it for the sole purpose of ripping it apart to use on the Kitchen Witch bottles in my, in my new kitchen. So I got this. It was 50% off. So I got it for $3.50. And then the other thing that I got was this guy right here. He, they didn't even have him. I don't know where he came from. I've been in the next three or four times 
and I have to walk past the Halloween stuff every time I'm in there because that's the exit. This guy was not in there, but they had him the other day when everything was 50% off. He was regular, I want to say $19.99, but then he had a $13 something sticker on him, and then I got 50% off of that, so I paid like $6 and some change for him, and he's just resin, and he lights up, but I haven't put any batteries in it yet. But he was super cute. And that's it. That's the only Halloween decorations I've bought this year. So it's so hard for me. <laughs> but whatever, I'm gonna not get depressed about it. So that's it. This is my shop with me video for the year. Sorry it's not more. But you get to see a realistic version of what I live with every Halloween. This is my last Halloween here, thank the gods. And I'm ready to get back to a place that celebrates Halloween. So that's it. So I'm going to take you on my two different shopping days at the NEX and show you what we have here at the exchange. All right, so the NEX is putting out the Halloween stuff, and this is going to be the extent of it. That's it. And see, they've still got it roped off. We're not even allowed in there. There's one aisle kind of there. Nothing over there, one aisle kind of here, and then they've got one set up, but this is it. That's going to be our Halloween. Yeah. We stopped for lunch, and look what I got. It is a Halloween cookie with a skeleton. It's actually a cookie. It's a cookie with a chocolate skeleton in it. But hey, She's I'll take whatever I can get. Do you hear my husband talking shit in the background? Look. <laughs> He's talking shit in the background. Anyway, so I will take all the Halloween treats that I can get and be happy about it. So I was kind of let down at the next. But I was happy with my little skeleton cookie. Okay, it's a that sad, sad day. This is the depressing state of affairs for me here. So remember I showed you when they were just setting everything up? I'm, I've saved that so that I could show you once it was all set up. This is it. So, one aisle of costumes, a little bit of candy, going down the same aisle. I was hopeful. I was hopeful that they were maybe going to bring more stuff out, but no, they have not. And this has been a week and a half, week, week, week and a half since I filmed that last video. Uh, I'm putting it all together now, but it was filmed originally about a week ago. And that's it. That's it. So, so depressing. I can't, I can't even... I can't wait to get the hell out of here. <laughs> so that's my Shop With Me video for this year. I'm a hot mess. I've been out in the wind. My hair is all crazy. But yeah, that's my, that's the extent of my shop with me video because that's all we've got. Just a few more months. That's all I keep telling myself. Just a few more months. It's my last Halloween here and I'm so excited. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, you can find all of the links for all of the places that you can find me down in the drop bar, I mean in the down bar below. Um, Remember, if you enjoy what I do, I'm being distracted, sorry. If you enjoy what I do here, don't forget to hit the little subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. Make sure you're getting the updates from YouTube and share it with your friends. That way they can hang out with us too. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey everybody, it's Edie and welcome to Mixed Mediology. Today's video is Vlogween Day 12 and it's kind of a depressing video to be honest. Oh my god. Okay, so I've been watching Vlogoween videos all month and I get to see so many people go tour all the different stores. They go to Spirit Halloween, they go to Michaels, they go to you know, the thrift stores, they go to Ross, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, all these different great places, home goods, places that I haven't even heard of. They get to go to all these awesome stores and just take you on a little tour, show you what the stores have, and then show you what they bought from the stores. I don't get to do that. And it's really, 
actually kind of heartbreaking for me because Halloween is my favorite holiday and here in Sicily it's non-existent and it's actually hard for me to to get into the Halloween spirit because it's it doesn't feel like Halloween it doesn't look like Halloween so it's really really difficult and the only place that does put out some Halloween stuff is the next which is our NEX, our, our Navy Exchange. And our Navy Exchange is limited to begin with. I hate shopping in there. I don't shop in there unless I absolutely have to get something from in there. And it's very rare that I can find the things that I need, even in the next, which is supposed to cater only to us Americans here on the base yet they still fill it with Italian stuff like wine and pistachios and shit you can get out in town so I feel like our next is quite a bit of wasted space because they're just filling it with the shit you can get out in town I'm trying really hard not to turn this video into a rant about how much I hate Sicily and it's really really difficult so um Okay, I'm, I'm going to like, so, ooh, hold on, <laughs> my timer's going off, I don't know if you can hear it. Can you hear that? I have to go get something out of the oven, I'll be right back. Sorry, today is my son Christopher's 16th birthday, and we actually have a busy day. He's got community chorus practice and school, and uh, we're not even really able to celebrate his birthday today. <laughs> We're postponing his party for like three weeks, but I always do a little something for him on his actual birthday. You know, we normally go out to dinner or, you know, that's when we give him his presents and things like that. It's something, but he, again, not really able to do that this year. So his 16th birthday has to be postponed for three weeks, but I am baking him a cake today and that's what I had to go get out of the oven. Anyway, what I was saying was, it's uh. The next here is very limited. So this video, today's video is actually about three weeks in the making because first of all, the next didn't even start putting anything out until late in the first week of October. So I think it was like October 6th or 7th before they even pulled any boxes out to show us that they were going to put Halloween stuff out. Which, you know, sucks ass. Just Let's just be real. It sucks ass. So they finally start bringing the boxes out. And that's the first little video clip that you're going to see at the end here. Because I do take you shopping with me. <laughs> it's depressing. I'm just going to tell you now. So um, they bring the boxes out. They rope everything off. So we're not even allowed to, to go in there and look at anything. It took them a week and a half to put everything out. And when you see how much stuff is out, you're going to be like, why wasn't that done within like an hour? <laughs> because it's ridiculous. So, um, yeah. When you see the first video, you're going to see some shelves set up. And I thought all of that was going to be Halloween stuff. No, it's not. You'll see how much Halloween stuff there is. But the other shelf that was in the first video ended up being Italian stuff. So olive oil, wine honey, shit we can get out in town. So it's a really touchy subject and it's something that pisses me off extremely because there's no sense for it. It's wasted space. And I'm trying really hard not to make this video a rant. Oh my god, I think I might need to stop and start again. Because it's just turning into a rant about how fucking much I hate this place and the next and the entire situation. And I don't, I don't want it to be that. Okay, I'm going to start again.